Okay. All right. Welcome, dear YouTube viewers. I'm right in the middle of a match. Well, not in the middle, in the beginning, since I was trying to stream, but somehow the server didn't want to cooperate, or maybe I did something wrong here. So this is uploaded after the fact. Uh, let's draw a new hand. Looking much nicer this time. Let's keep it. Uh, so this deck is the one that tries to have lots of servo tokens. Then at some point we get to activate revolt and start making our hand much more, uh, our board much more impressive. Opponent going at red. All right. Let's play the shuffling bands for this turn. Then we might be playing servo schematic. Two copies of those are nice. Then we in turn three we can maybe play the building wines. The building wines is very nice for the revolt, but this is going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, stockpile is really good. This is looking nicer and nicer. Let's play the servo schematic, and maybe we go, want the revolt going getting started with the hidden stockpile mm. I don't know, also if we don't do that the inventor's fair is going to give us some life so apparently the opponent's going with vehicles so this is a very powerful vehicle letting the opponent untap another creature alright, we have found caravan here so I think it's the moment the, for playing the caravan it, at this stage is the best card in the hand because then we can potentially be playing the call for unity next turn if we find an, an untapped land then we can pay the cost for call of the, for unity and if not we can deploy two two drops or maybe we find something that can help us crew the caravan and start attacking next turn. We can awaken, or I mean wake up the shambling bent, use the shambling bent to crew the caravan. Opponent uh, white, red artifact dead. Maybe he has some double white card he can't cast. He probably wants to crew somehow this one. It's an uh, inexpensive crew cost. Whoa. A 2 2 flyer with first strike. It's a, I think they don't like this card too much. I think it's overpriced for what it does, but okay, it's, it's on the basic set. Everybody gets it. Um, well, first strike is really powerful. So he gets to untap the flyer. Alright, now what are we going to do here? We can use some expertise. Alright, another evolving wild. Uh, right, let's go with this one. We're going to cast the hidden stockpile. And one of the evolving wilds over here. Well, I want to wait here. No, it's okay. Let's do this already. Let's get another white out there. Uh, it's, it's actually doesn't matter too much since we have the caravan to fix our colors. Skip the attack. Uh, we can send this to die. We receive a new servo token at the end of the turn but we since we played the volume miles we get it anyways and i think call or unity is our next play since when once this starts getting the, the plus one plus one counters well everything is going to be externally powerful and this is not going to be able to stop 
all the servos tokens at the same time. Another vehicle. So the crew is one. So this is a very scary vehicle and the opponent can't crew both using the ability of mobile garrison. So we are in the race. I don't know if the opponent wants to block, if he wants to save the blocks. This one has not haste, so it can't attack here. Opponent wants to defend. All right, that's cool. I think the opponent is worried about our caravan since it's a 5-5 or after all he could try to double block here. We gain more life. Another one of these is so cool, but let's first go with this. The building wilds Revolt is now the doom from the opponent, unless he can somehow remove our enchantment. I think we got this game. Even if he hits us with both vehicles here. Skip the attack. We are going to have blockers for the ground creatures. And we are going to be receiving much more after Strum's expertise. We have the Servo Schematic that we can ca cast without paying mana. Okay, uh, the opponent can, can find something that can remove all our stuff, but at this point we still gain, gain life, we can go ahead and search for a particular artifact we want, but maybe if we want to f get the Tamidius journal out of our, our library. Alright, he got the counter for some reason. I think the opponent will prefer to have more blockers at this stage. Let's see what we draw. It can be a very powerful card. Now we can improvise quite for quite a bunch. Another copy of Hidden Stockpile would be really cool. Hmm. So as long as the opponent can't remove the call for unity, we should be fine. Uh, he has too many vehicles. He could. Uh, start your engines is a good car for the opponent. That means he has uh, all the vehicles get crew automatically. They gain plus three attack, I guess, or, or not plus two attack. So, if, if the opponent has start your engines, he can one shot us. So maybe we want to trade as much as we are offered to. So here comes this attack, and we are definitely going to block and kill that. All right, let's see, here he comes. The opponent can still cast a one mana spell, he can he can have something, but if his last card is a pump up spell, so be it. Uh, so let's remove this. We lose just one servo here. And things are looking good for us. More life gain, more. Okay, I think I want to play this for free. I mean, well, we pay 4 mana for 3 more tokens and the opponent could crew those and if we send all of them 
So he could block two of them, so he takes six damage. And we gain three more blockers. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we gain a fourth blocker with the hidden stockpile. There we go. And all of them are going to be a 3-3 three, three on the next turn. Just two. So we already are looking forward another activation of the revolt. Opponent decided not to crew, that's wise. But now we go again with Shram's expertise. We are going to play another caravan. And I think if I play this, I tap this too. Mm. Yeah, let's not do this since we are going to get another counter of this. All right, now we can crew our caravans. All right. What's this? A 3 1 flyer. Vehicles you control have flying. Oh, that's cool. So the opponent can. This turn can send for 2. This is 5. And this other one here already. Well, it has 4, but gains more counters when it attacks. So this one can grow. We have to hurry, or else we might die even with our current board we still it's very nice to have the life gain here otherwise i think we might be at the range of some nasty spell from the other side of the board mm. so especially if the opponent had kept the garrison this attack did not much for the opponent i think it was a mistake Okay, stop the timer. Do I want to kill one of my tokens? I don't think so. It would give us a scry, but now we have this. It has haste. It's cost 3 to cast. Let's go ahead with this one. So all of them are going to have flying, so we might as well attack with all we have. No point in saving blockers for the flyer. And now the opponent's looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7 times 3 is 21 points of damage, plus this guy here can become indestructible. Stop the timer. Let's uh, kill... I mean, this is going to die. Let's kill one of the attackers. So we kill the crew. Okie dokie. And we found little, maybe I should have not sacrificed like that. I don't know why the opponent, I think the opponent should have crewed something there. But anyways, we take the victory. Yeah. Okay, leave the game, uh, collect the rewards, and well, since uh, okay, I lost a part of the video since we have some technical difficulties there, I just want to show you some of the decks. So this is looking like our early plays, very nice indeed. If we have multiple multiple instances of hidden stockpile on the field, it's really great. Then we have 
some clue producers over there also survive the night and the Medius journal the newest addition to the deck so let's go against another match and let's see what's going on i think i know why this is so un yeah well it turns out that if your wand bandwidth is occupied with let's say new torrent and you are sharing and downloaded some files maybe the streaming strike forward to youtube is not something that the network likes to be doing for you and then you get some errors that could explain why i had trouble before so let's see if this match is amusing or not i think the either revolt cards are too powerful mm, yeah this is mm, well uh, heavy on lands but Jaini here is looking great it's just just because he's here we can have this hand and the worst case scenario we send this one away and look for something else in our library all right solemn recruit uh, yeah you're going to be played soon we want to wait until we can activate revolt for sure on the very same turn so it starts growing right away so i think yeah on the other hand we would love to have something that can protect our jaini from certain death black and blue it's going to be looking pretty scary here let's play the hidden stockpile now hmm so i think we yeah uh, if we don't draw anything interesting i'm going to play the evolving wilds that gives us one servo token for that turn and also we at some point we will have to play the evolving wilds and we don't want to have our creatures out there uh, Thalia it's going to make our plans look quite different now since if I play the evolving wilds as it is it's going to enter the battlefield tapped yeah that foots uh, yeah uh, that's going to stop our plans greatly so let's, let's go with the planes the caravan and the gargoyle yeah Thalia it's a big hinder in our plans and all our servo tokens and are tapped as long as Thalia is there and also the opponent is using counter spell colors so we have to be very careful oh boy yeah at any rate i think we have to drop the evolving wilds yauchis i think we are going to lose this if unless we draw removal soon uh, it's over this one having haste not going to do much for us all right the pilgrim's eye gives us one land but it's not going to do much else otherwise southern recruit at some point can face gisela if it survives long enough let's go with it go ahead with the evolving wilds continue and we are going to welcome the life gain quite greatly with this now opponent is going to hit us for seven yowzies
keep on removal there's quite a lot of removal in the deck well not quite a lot but there is some control cards that can deal with these threats let's hope we can find it in time well, we can always start scrying stuff so we improve our chances oh play something please no no okay we are doomed the opponent now has uh, We are doomed. Okay, let's go with this. Drop the planes. And... Well... Let's drop the pilgrim's eye. Alright. Well, one less basic land card in the deck. Let's go ahead with the swamps and continue we gain the token but it, it's going to come tapped to the battlefield mm, well the caravan can kill thalia so that's a thing mm, but uh, i assume the opponent is not going to attack with thalia so at the very least we're stopping her for some time So, but the opponent still has four cards in hand. He's playing with black, blue, and white. Oh, Soaring. Soaring is going to kill this one right away. I bet he's going to... No, he's drawing. That's a... Whoa. Another Prince Walker. And we are at seven. Okay. That's smart. Okay, we have to hit Sorin or we die. Hmm. Well, we can die anyways. Alright. Servo schematic. Okay, I think I have to play the Inventor's Fair. going to go against Sorin and so is the Solemn Recruit. There's not much that we can do at this point. Let's see what the opponent tries to do here. Um, Liliana kills the pilgrim's eye and we die anyways. Yeah, maybe I should yeah, I should play this before so I can I could go uh, yeah, but that's too expensive. I could not be able to afford uh, Yeah, that's bad. Can we transform this? No. Oh, that! What a bunch of mistakes I made. If I had one more open mana, I could transform the gargoyle. That's the one thing I could do. Well, anyways, that's it for this game. Oh, well, it was a loss from the showing up or from Thalia. Oh and we not finding the removals mm. okay Shiny. let's continue here so sad if we have found our demon even it 
would be great. Now Liliana comes, kills the Pilgrim's Eye, and Gisela kills us with four in the air that we can't block. Oh, that's maybe Sorin kills us. Oh, yeah, we die to Sorin. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh, but I'm sorry uh, for the joke. Uh, okay, let's. I think, anyways, let's take it. The other deck was very powerful, and we take it. It was a fun game. Let's, I wasn't planning to do one more, but come on, let's go and try this one once more. It was amusing. We couldn't quite develop our board since Talia was there and maybe too many lands at the beginning it restricted our moves so let's hope we have a, we have now a better starting hand mm, it's coming it's two lands but our only two drop is this enchantment it's not reliable that we are going to be able to activate it this is looking great since we can start with so much stuff uh, let's do one evolving wilds i think of course we want the revolt to happen later but uh, we also want the lands uh, we are facing the power of tower why are players using decks so huge it's not good for them even if you like all the cards you're not going you're not getting to play them right extremely good for us let's play isolate chapel servo schematic getting our first servo token and this servo schematic when this goes to the graveyard, we get another 1-1 one, one token. <coughs> Meanwhile, we are going to be looking at the art from the Serbo. It looks nice. It looks like uh, if you play StarCraft, this looks like one of the Protoss units. But I imagine that this is quite small in the minds of the designers. Look what we have here. Let's uh, attack it. We attack with the servo token and we begin to scry. Okay, we could use the bowling wells, so we have two tokens, or we can. Okay, definitely we want this one out. Now, if I play the evolving wilds, I get. Yeah, let's go with this. It makes much more sense. Well, the scry is the scry. Let's admit that it's really good. But two creatures also are pretty nice. Now, the opponent could have Twin Bolt. It's quite possible he has Twin Bolt in the deck. But he has to find it amongst this huge pile of cards. So we are not going to be scared of that sort of stuff. Alright, survive the night. Pretty good. Jahini has haste. Let's play it planes and uh, Jahini. Attack for four. Boom, Shaklaka. Let's see if the opponent wants to try something. He does not. We're going to pause. Okay just in case sometimes the game jumps to the next stage okay, let's sacrifice no, uh, no 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 we are going to sacrifice with the stockpile to gain uh, the scrying uh, to the bottom we have the performance eye for finding lands now the bad thing of what i did just now is that now we run out of mana but Jaini can use this without paying mana, so it's quite good. Mm, we could prevent this one from getting renowned. Let's do it. 
it's a 3-2 with haste and renown that we don't want to happen. Alright, more lands. Let's go with this. The Pilgrim's Eye. And get. I think I should play the land before, after using the Pilgrim's Eye so our opponent does not know what we have in our hand. Now we are going to swing with these two. So a tiny bit of a misplay from my part. I hope it's not too bad against me. Okay, let's get our news. Okay, this is very good. A new token appears that can stop the Firefiend Elemental, hopefully. If we kill him, if we kill this one, then our Jaini gains a plus one plus one token, Boiling Earth. This one gives one damage to each creature that we control, so let's sacrifice one of these and we are going to also do this well it doesn't matter too much all right called of the full moon well six four trample and this one gains their renown already all right but we are going to be playing two spells next turn so yeah, opponent also has black there. No, he played two spells. Well, too bad for him. Okay, the bygone bishop, the swamp, the servo schematic. And once again we attack. And we would like to have the trafficker or some creature that can trigger the Pygon Bishop, so let's skip scrying. Okay, keep scrying boys, keep scrying, this is fine. Since we get the clue. And also it's inexpensive so we also can use survive the night so we are most likely not wanting to block well yeah let's block anyways we don't want to take unnecessary damage mm. so opponent likes black and white maybe he's using all the aura that are there Boiling Earth. Why? Well, it's a two, two mana spell. That's fine. Okay. Seven five. And no point really in blocking this one since now it has trample. Skip the blocking. Okay, that's cool. Master Trinket here. Our tokens are empowered. And let's do the full swing, I guess. Yeah, let's swing with all of three. So if the opponent tries to kill some of them, we have survived the night. Alright, that's cool. Let's do anyways this. 
and I'm going to kill the poor servo token. It's going to the graveyard and disappearing. But that is for us getting the new token and also the call of the full moon is going to get off. Now we might be losing a creature here, but the opponent is against the ropes with only 4 health. He can't afford to swing. Okay, he could have more enchantments, haste creatures, but come on, what are the odds of finding all those within a deck? He has 66 cards remaining, compare our deck he has uh, 44 cards remaining, so the opponent is stealing one of our guys. Okay, the Jaini is going to be attacking us but I don't think this was the good target since now we can block this this does not save the opponent he could have target the master trinketeer it was a better option and now the opponent dies so support you All this is going to get back to our hand, to our side, and we have our second Bygone Bishop here. Yeah, don't you, you don't say. I wonder why the opponent left. <laughs> let's uh, let's check what was our next card. Another survive the night. All right, we can also kill one of our creatures to take a peek yeah let's let's do it anyways yeah more to admire it's actually nice so if even if the opponent kills one of our guys we still can bring them back from the graveyard all right well i I don't want to mock the opponent, but I think there are some uh, all the levels of plays in the game. So the game before was against a very nice deck that defeated us very quickly, and this one actually I think it was a badly built deck and badly played one at, at it. So there you have it, and I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time. I'll be seeing you with the other variant of the deck. Let's me let's quickly remind you. This is the other oh no, this is from other time. Okay, this one has uh, the same philosophy of the deck, but instead of revolt, we want the energy to happen. So pretty similar deck that we are going to be looking at next time. Until then, sayonara!